Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generations LP. So in this part, we are going to have quite a few birthdays. Today is Luna and Penelope's birthday, and then tomorrow is Justine's birthday. Ooh, it is raining out right now. Oh well. Um, for those who are wondering why I haven't uploaded in like the last couple of days, it is because I have been kind of sick, um, which is rare. I usually don't get sick, but I was like, you know, sick and... Last night, I was going to record, but then I fell asleep really early, so that's kind of what's the lowdown, but hey, I'm here now, filming, right? <laughs> also, if you guys hear noises in the background, it is raining. It is pouring. It's ridiculous outside right now, and I'm really sick of it. You know what? One of my friends said they were going to the beach today. Good luck with that. <laughs> um, you're getting poured on right now. Help, you are having lots of fun. <laughs> oh, one more thing. A lot of you guys did not um, know that I did extend the giveaway until the 31st of August because I added another um, chance for people to win. I am doing a uh, create a sim giveaway and that was, um, I think, on Generations part, part something, just a couple of parts ago. Um... You can submit your video files there, and I'll just be picking a random winner. It's probably easier to uh, win that one just because not as many people know about it. So, yeah. <laughs> so, on the 31st, I will announce the winners on my blog, which is lifesimmer.net. I don't announce it on my YouTube anymore. I just throw it out there on the blog. So, let's get into the game. Oh, and if you want the blog, it's linked down below. It's my website slash blog. So, there you go. <laughs> All right, Thais, let's get into the game. A lot of you guys, okay, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do the inheritance, and a lot of you guys said, do it. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and just do it. Um, why not? Where is it? 30. Right here. Why not? Alrighty, we got about 32,000 uh, simoleons, which is awesome. And now we can actually afford to, you know... Have have some furniture in our house. Upgrade the bathrooms, which I've been dying to do, and do that stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then come back to you guys. Alrighty. So I decorated the house quite a bit, actually, and I'm really, really happy with uh, what I got done. Honestly, there will still be improvements. Um, but for the most part, I did add in a lot of cool stuff that we can play around with, and yeah, so I'll show you guys what I did. Here is the bathroom. It kind of has just a cabiny, marbly type of theme in it. It's really simple. Um, here is going to be Luna's teenage bedroom. I added in a ballet bar so she can actually do some ballet. I didn't decorate Penelope's room because, as you guys know, we're sending her off to boarding school for her childhood, and then she'll come back when she's a teenager, and it'll be, like, a lot of fun. Here is little Jay's room. It is monkey-themed, jungle-themed, and it's so cute because this has little bananas on it, and we have little monkeys on the walls, and we have a dress-up thingy right here. Right here, didn't change anything. I did reshape the room a little bit, and I actually need to add a door in there. And then right here, I switched the bathroom and the laundry room um, to two different places. And here I placed the chemistry set, the uh, laundry laundry stuff, <laughs> the washer and dryer, and the dresser. And then here's the other bathroom. I didn't have anywhere to put the sink, so I just didn't add one. Oops. And then right here, I actually added in the premium content... Um, toilet. I totally forget what it's called, but that's what I did. Put uh, some new flooring upstairs and yeah. And then downstairs I added a daycare room right here for Justine for when she starts work back up. She starts in, oh gosh, eight days. <laughs> but um, she'll have a room for when she starts it back up. And then out here, I added a lot of cool stuff for the kids and everything. I added in the little playpen, sandbox, um, seesaw, the wet, wet and wild slide, the water slide. 
I don't know, and a clubhouse. And then I also bought them a car so we can teach um, Luna how to drive when she becomes a teenager. So yeah, I did get quite a few things for the household and um, I'm really excited. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and actually, once again, purchase a few more things. When we get more money, uh, right now we have about five grand, we're gonna go ahead and purchase a new kitchen and make it a lot cuter and fun, but for now, it's whatever. Uh, we need to purchase two cakes. One, two. And we're gonna go ahead and fix that uh, sink right there. And we are gonna throw, actually, you know what? We won't throw a party. This will be more of a home thing because Penelope will be leaving tomorrow morning. I actually need to repaint some, uh, quite a bit in there, but I'll do that later. Because Penelope will actually be leaving tomorrow morning uh, to go to, I think we're gonna send her to art school. I'll show you guys the options. If you click right here and you send enroll in boarding school, we have a prep school, sports academy, peace and love, la France, la France, mais? <laughs> I don't know, art school, and Fort Starch military school. I think I'm going to send her to the art school. Um, it would only make sense, but we're going to go ahead and mop up the puddles and go ahead and get to the birthdays, Luna and Penelope. Alrighty. This is very exciting. <laughs> and our imaginary friend will grow up into a teenager, which will be crazy. Okay, so here's Luna. Things will get pretty interesting from here. <laughs> and here's Penelope. <laughs> Luna has reached her teen years. Years. <laughs> because of her, uh, Good grades and everything, we can choose Luna's trait. Alright, she's a genius, she loves the cold, and she's a technophobe. We're going to go ahead and give her... Hmm. Hmm. She'll be super dramatic. Alrighty. Take a quick look at Luna real quick. Um... She's actually really cute. We just need to give her some new eyebrows and put some makeup on her, and she's really cute. Change her outfit and stuff. <laughs> but she's cute. Looks like a lot like her mom. But still like her dad. I don't know. I can't decide who she looks like. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and watch this. Look, he just grew up too. What's up with all the cake? <laughs> How weird is that? Come on. Okie dokie. She, um, you need to give her some different uh, appearance or and earned all the other stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and change their appearances, and I will get back to you guys. I am super excited. Ugh, now we finally have a teenager to play with, and um, a lot of cool things to do with her. So I'm going to go ahead and change her appearance, and I'll get right back. Alrighty, so I went ahead and changed both of their appearances. Um, so for Penelope, she... A lot of her outfits are pretty normal with a twist uh, because that's Penelope. She's the black sheep of the family. And like here she has this nice little nightgown on with some monster claw slippers and you know just little things like that. And upstairs we have Luna. Uh, here she is right here. She has a winged eyeliner. She's really really cute. 
And, um, yeah, she is a little bit more on, I guess you could say, the preppy side. So I did give her this little outfit uh, from The Sims 3 store and some like little sandals and you guys will just see her roaming around the house and her other outfits and everything um but we're gonna go ahead and send penelope off uh well sign her up for the art school it is 1,200 simoleons to send her there, but when she comes back, she will have... What is all of this? She'll have an array of new things. Um, oh. Cool. Um, she has an array of like new things that she'll come back with, like new traits and just a lot of really cool stuff. Um, so, yes, it's kind of hard to, you know, send your little your little sim off, but at the end of the day, they come back with, like, so much more stuff, and it's a lot of fun, so, yeah. A formal dance is happening soon. It's going to be on Wednesday at 6 p.m., so get your desi designer duds ready to tear up the dance floor. Anyone that wants to go should try to find a date. So, Luna's mission now is to get a date to the prom. So, it is on Wednesday, so... <laughs> So she does have three days to do it. Oh, we got our little trophy. Ah, we got a trophy. Um, we should actually go ahead and do something to suck. Alrighty. Penelope has been enrolled in the La Frange. La Frange? I don't know. Art school. Penelope will prepare for her future in the arts by attending overpriced self-expression classes. School transportation will arrive on Monday at 9 a.m. So she'll leave tomorrow at 9 a.m. And yeah, so she needs to live up her last day here. But while we are shopping around, I'm going to go ahead and buy a little display. Um, place it up in her room for her... Um, for her... can't talk. For her stuff. I will... Do it right there. Can we place one right there? We can. Okay, cool. Place that. I hated how I how hard it was to place stuff on the shelves. I think it's easier when I do it right here. No, it's not. <laughs> how do I do it? There we go. So this was her participation trophy for I'm doing ballet. How exciting. Alrighty. What the hell? <laughs> Joseph, clean the toilet and mop up that puddle. So now if we wanted to, which we might do, I might have Joseph go teach uh, Luna how to, uh, how to drive. So how you do that is, you know, you just click on the sim and say, let me teach you how to drive. So it's really cool. It's something that they can do to bond, I guess. And, um, let's see. Um, where is it? Can she do it? I have no idea. Oh, she can do it. Teach Luna how to drive. I've never actually used this toilet before, so I'm kind of curious to know, you know, what it does. Set music on select music it plays music while you take a deuce um so we're gonna go ahead and ask luna if we can uh, teach her how to drive it's so cute to watch them uh learn how to drive she's like um i guess so oh, we'll have to do that later what's wrong with penelope penelope is absolutely exhausted i'll let her go sleep in luna's bed but we're going to go ahead and head out and teach her how to drive. I don't care about the damn birthday party. Like, she shouldn't even have that. Anywho. So, we're going to head out and teach teach the fetuses. Well, not the fetuses. The fetus how to drive. But I, let me just get a close up one more time for you guys. This is her. She looks a lot like her mom. Like a lot. I think all the girls look like their mom. Then if we come back here, here's here's Justine 
in her natural state. That's my sim for ya. The ice cream truck would be outside, wouldn't it? So let's uh, watch them learn how to drive for a second. <laughs> It's so bad. But before the teenagers can actually drive around, they actually need to learn how to do this. So, oh my goodness. Watch, and then there's gonna be like a random car, a random taxi that drives right through us. The joy. Buster's like dying. Enough with this birthday party crap, holy crap. All right, let's come up here and eat. Um. Buster's like starving. <laughs> Back to them though. So this interaction, I remember the first time I watched it, I was like, wow, this is so cool. It's actually pretty easy too to teach them how to drive. It's not like you have to do it for days. Look, she just learned how to drive. Wow. Learning how easy to drive is an exciting yet embarrassing rite of passage for any teen. You've just taken your finest, your first step towards independence. It will take time and extreme patience, but it will all be worth it in the end. Uh, when Luna earns her driver's certificate. Oh, so I guess she's not done. Oops, never mind then. I guess uh, there's more than one? Maybe you have to do a couple. I kind of forget, to be honest. <laughs> I think three. Congratulations. Luna has improved her driving skill to level two. Alrighty, we're going to have her uh, just go home. I'm going to laugh if they get out. They do. Of course they do. Um, enough with that. That is so annoying. Um, this is why I do not like those things. Like, really. I should have killed that thing off a long time ago. Getting real sick of it. Mop that up. Repair that. Oh, so much to do. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and uh, put our toilet settings on. Set music on. Select music ambience one. Oh, that's one thing okay so remember when i first introduced pranks to you guys i think it was actually in the last part i actually told you guys that when you're a teenager there's a lot more that you can do and i think i'm gonna save this um for penelope but you can actually prank a uh you can do a couple of pranks you can prank them by throwing eggs prank them by a flaming bag of doo doo or you can prank by doing the doorbell ditch. We might do maybe one with Luna. You know, maybe she'll hate somebody or something. But I think I'm going to save that for, um, can't talk. For the most part, I think I'm going to save that for Penelope. And she'll have, like, a lot of fun with that. But we're going to go uh, do a slip and slide. Uh, oh, back. So, this is the first time I will be showing you guys the water slide, which is, was one of the really cool things that, um, came with Generations, so, let me go ahead and come down. And now I'll back up so you guys can see the whole thing. And there's our teenage imaginary friend right there. So yeah, it's pretty cute. We got a seesaw now, uh, which I'll show you guys probably in the next part. And we have a clubhouse, uh, which we can't go in currently. Adults can only go in there to woohoo, and children can go in there and, you know, play on it, hold a great feast, sleep, and play in it. But you can also, um, we'll actually have her sleep in it for tonight. It's her last night here. But also, um, there's like different types of tree houses there's like a princess one and really cool things but she wants to get bunk beds that came with generations too oh here's another one of uh penelope's outfits like another chance for me to show you her little personality her outfit's normal and then she has these crazy little purples um kind of like bluish purple polka dot socks on you know just shows a little bit of something um 
That's really friggin' annoying. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And not, I'm not gonna say not too much happened, because, I mean, things happened, but nothing really too exciting. In the next part, we're gonna watch Penelope go off to boarding school. And... That's all I have planned so far. We're probably gonna learn how to drive and try to get a prom date. So, I will see you guys then. And bye guys!